Hello, my name is Wylam, and today we're going to be talking about how to carry all of this in one small little package. Um, this is my little teeny quad that uh, I've built together, and uh, it's really enjoyable to fly. But uh, you always want one of these to be portable. So I was looking for a carrying case to be able to carry all of this stuff and make it organized and very useful to me. And uh, I came across a lipo bag on Amazon that's perfect for this particular package. So here is the lipo bag that I was talking about. It's made by Hobby Tiger. Um, I've actually used this for a little bit, uh, so it's got a little wear and tear on it, but it's been holding up really well. I'd just like to share my thoughts with you on this particular lipo bag. Uh, as you can see, it's in a nice little uh, rectangular form. Uh, it doesn't really hold its shape too well if, it, if you don't pack it full of stuff, but uh, you, you will see once we pack it up that it actually retains its shape really well with all the stuff we packed in. So I'll go ahead and open it up. So in here, you can see that it's just a nice open space. It is a lipo bag, so it should prevent fire from leaking out if uh, one of the lipo batteries were to puff and, you know, spew out flames. But uh, who knows? Uh, you never can tell if uh, the material will actually be as flame retardant as they claim. But this is what we're going to try to fill in. So the first thing we're going to put in here is the charging system. So this is the E-Flight charging system. You can charge four batteries at once. What's really interesting about this particular charger is that you can actually fill it full of batteries and then you have a portable charging station and you don't actually need to plug it in. Uh, when you actually buy one of these, this is the only thing that comes with it. The actual AC adapter is optional, so you actually have to buy that. Uh, as an extra part so I didn't know that I only bought this and then I had to actually go back and buy this part but a uh, good charging system but you know, like it with anything on e-flight uh, not inexpensive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I will pack it to the back and it fits very nicely it's almost form fitting to uh, the e-charging system which is awesome this we won't put in right away so we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, teeny quad next and what I'm going to use is actually the carrying cases that actually had this quad. So if you have these it's going to be very useful to you and if you don't uh, go buy an extra one and then you can use it for spare parts. So in here what you notice is that I actually um, cut out um, the little slots that were used to actually hold the motors because we're going to uh, use this uh, upside down and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the quad in here. So this holds it nicely in place so that it doesn't move anywhere uh, during transportation. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to move it into the box. So as you can see now, uh, it's nice and form fitting. It almost fits perfectly like this box, uh, this lipo bag was created for it. So fits nicely in there. This one over here will carry all of our batteries, our small accessories, and even our AC adapter right here. So everything fits in here nicely, plenty of room for more batteries. So if you want to carry a bunch of these batteries, uh, no problems, this will fit it in there. We'll slide it in its place and voila, you fill up the entire bag and it's nicely form fitting. And now with it all stuffed together, it's actually uh, very structurally sound for carrying it. So you just close this. And now it does a pretty good job carrying all the components while retaining its shape and you have everything you need except for the radio controller and your goggles. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching.